you guys a quick post here. I'm gonna do a quick little update video on the shed. So as you can hear, it's loud in here again. I'm sorry, I don't have my, I didn't bring my mic over here. Um, but basically what I did is, um, I didn't test these two switches, but uh, these have been in here for a while. And I'm pretty sure it might've killed them um, as well as this one. I know these, I know for a fact these two are dead. Um, but these two are sitting on those two currently are. Um, so as you see, I still have a lot of room for switches in here. I probably could have done it all on one switch, but I still plan on adding a lot more miners back in here. So I want to have the availability for that, um, as well as I have um, availability over here. So I still have a couple more. Well, this is all taken advantage already. So like, this is, although this is almost full, cool, I can put all my GPU racks back over here and it would be happy. Because um, it's already pre table manage. Um, but this over here, we took away the big, um, the, the big rack with the 30 cases on it, so that freed up a lot of space over here. Obviously, it's so like I have a. Basically, my plan is to redo this uh, whole shed setup. So what I'm thinking about doing is doing like a hot aisle, cold aisle type thing. Um, two racks facing into each other and then two racks facing into each other well, um, with just enough work, room to come in here and work on stuff and bring stuff in um, not like a ton of room like over in my warehouse but I could probably do I don't know maybe I try and get at least three hot aisles in here so three hot and cold aisles so maybe even more uh, maybe four but I'd be pushing it because I can only start a rack like right here um, and then have another one like right over here and then like one here and then one here yeah so i'd be lucky to get three in here i'm just doing that one um, that would increase my racks and my use of the space and i would still be able to access everything easier so that's kind of what i plan on doing plus you know, with my air coming in from the floor in the heat aisle, I wouldn't really have to, if the air is just naturally going to push it towards the fans um, and go through the heat aisle, so it wouldn't really come back this way and nothing over, it would just kind of go that way. Um, now, obviously, I would want to try and keep this as a cold aisle because it goes to the window and I don't have a fan there, so it would be better for it to go this way, but it, it wouldn't really matter too much. Um, it's currently really hot outside, uh, but it's only 91 degrees in here now. So if you guys remember, like on a hot day like this, when it'd be in the 90s, it'd be like 110 in here, and I don't even have those open. So you know, obviously I did remove a lot of the heat in here. Like now I'm only pulling 50, 70, 90, and 30 amps. So like I reduced it a lot because if you guys remember, this is like 120, this was like 160, this is like 150, and then that one was like 100, I think. Um, so I obviously took a lot of stuff out, and I do have a couple of things that aren't working still. Um, like there's a mi uh, two miners right here. This, this, this one is not working. This S9 over there that isn't working. Um, a couple of my cases aren't working. It's like this one, this one, and that one sometimes. But luckily those two, the power supplies are dead, so I need to get new power supplies. But I'm completely, completely out of stock of power supplies. So I can't really fix that. Um, yeah, I think everything else is working as normal. So good on that. But, uh, well, sorry. Then there's also this miner that stuff is wrong with, and I need to work on that. But those are all for the equipment, except for this one. So this one I need to work on. So this one has got um, 5700 and Vegas 64 in it. So I need to get this back on the That's probably why it died, how much power it's doing. Um, but I just wanted to quickly update you guys and show you that I did finally get the shed off the back of the line after a, a whole week of being down. Um, it kind of sucks, but I did get um, a lot of those GPUs, like obviously all these GPUs got on the back of the line. And several of those, but not all of them, like basically six of the ones, well, seven, because that used to happen too. So seven. GPUs from over here as well. So a total of 37 GPU cases got brought back online, but obviously this whole rack was still offline and then those over there were offline. 
as well as a couple that are on this rack. Um, so I still have quite a, and this one also is on there, which has quite a few models in it. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of what I had offline, and hopefully it's all working now. I mean, for the most part, it's all working, so that's really good. Uh, I did, it didn't come back up immediately, but when I replugged in, um, like the, the two cables coming in, and I re unplugged them and plugged them back in, and started working. So maybe it wasn't an issue at all. I set up, I just needed to do that, but I know for a fact that this switch was dead because. I would plug in working internet to it and it wouldn't work at all. So I knew from the fact this one was dead, but I need to test these two to see if they're any good um, before I, so I can use it as a stock in case it ever happens again. But I did get the same switches that work over in my warehouse now. These are actually really nice. They're Pro Curve um, switches. They're just one gigabyte, um, but you can put, um, what's it called? You can put fiber optic to it. Um, so you get like if I had fiber coming in here, I could run fiber to all of my, all those switches and just so they connect to each other faster. But I don't really have plans to do that right now. I do need to refeed these two rigs because each one of these has a 3060 Ti in it. So like that's 120 mega hash that's offline right now. Um, but I'm not super worried about it. I'll probably come back. I have to come back over here tomorrow. I'll probably work on that. and. Maybe I'll look for some more power supplies and I can replace these two with, or especially that one. I, I really want that one back online. This one I don't care that much about. Um, but yeah, I want to get this one. Um, that's like a 350 to 400 mega hash rig. So it'd be nice to get this one back. But yeah, I want to quickly update you guys. Um, hopefully it's not been too loud in here with my mic setup. Um, I do have a couple power supplies I'm bringing over there to the shed. But there's actually three more of those uh, switches down there, so I have a little bit of stock. I'm going to order a couple more just to have on hand. If I do, I have some more miners coming in here soon, and I plan on expanding a lot. As you know, I'm, I'm in the pro in the process of ordering stuff to upgrade my well, not upgrade to run a second transformer over in the warehouse. Obviously, I can still put more stuff in here, but. I kind of want to get the warehouse full because right now the transformers in the warehouse can support like the outside ones, not the ones inside. Um, the outside transformers can only support two of my um, transformer setup, so I can't do the third one until I upgrade the service. If I do that, so I'm not really too sure what the end game is there. So like, I don't want to have the electric company spend a bunch of money there and I only be there for like nine more months. Um, I mean, granted that is a while, and I am paying for the infrastructure, so like, you know, it might not make sense for them, but it makes sense for me because I want to get the most amount of money out of that building that I can. But at the same time, like, I don't know. We'll, we'll have to see what that all entails. Um, as far as over here, I can, I plan, like I said, I, I plan on redoing the shed even more and getting, basically I want to move everything that's in here into the warehouse and get it running in the warehouse. Um, and then what I'll do from there is I'll redo the shed and do those ace, like the hot aisle, cold aisles, like I told you. And uh, I'll have this maxed out with pretty much aces only. Cause I, I don't mind coming over here, but it's a pretty, it's kind of inconvenient to come over here. So I'd rather only come over here when I have to. And this is kind of set up better for ASIC mining, which I knew that when I was building it, that's what I was originally, I was only planning on doing ASICs and a couple GPUs, but GPUs, like, I just could get them so cheap back then, and, like, it was, it made more sense to buy GPUs, because I was getting RX 580, 8 gigs for, like, $100, 474 gigs for, like, $45, and, like, 1080 Ti's for, like, 300, 5700's for 300, so, like, it made a lot of sense to buy GPUs back then, because, I mean, they made me a, a lot of money last year, what helped me get the warehouse um, and just all the stuff for that. Um, so yeah, I'm I'm glad I did buy the GPUs, but like at the same time, like Ace Miners are doing really good for me too. Um, like my L3s, I just sold those for about twelve hundred dollars a piece each, and I paid fifty dollars for those like two years ago each, and they were mining 
if I was smart, I'd have been mining Litecoin and Dogecoin the whole time, but sadly I was just mining Litecoin. So I didn't have like a fat stack of Dogecoin waiting for that pump up to 70 cents. If I did, I'd probably be a millionaire. <laughs> Cause I had, you know, around eight giga hash on script for about two years. And I probably would have never sold the Dogecoin. I mean, maybe I would have, but you know, if I, well, I don't know. If I was really scrapped for money, I probably would have sold it for like, even if it was just a couple of dollars, I don't know. But I mean, it's potential I could have had like, you know, a couple hundred thousand dollars worth of Dogecoin from just mining on those fifty dollar miners. But it didn't happen. It's one of those cases of, you know, if you could go back in the, in the past, I would have set up um, my miners to do dual pool, mi like uh, merged mining, but I never did because I didn't really, it didn't matter because back then, you know, you would get like the difference between mining, merge mining and not merge mining was like 20 cents on the day. So like it didn't really bother me. But now that Dogecoin is worth a lot more, obviously I've been making like $10 a day. So if you do that times two years, like that could be a lot. Anyways, enough of the wishing I did something different. Um, yeah, so the plan is to move everything over to the warehouse, set up a new transformer, which that's not gonna be too cheap. So just an infrastructure stuff. So like I have to get PDUs, um, I have to get another panel, um, I have to get the wire and another switch or slash disconnect. Um, I have to get wire to go from the breaker panel to my um, uh, my PDUs because it's a, you have to make custom cables, which is the worst thing because I, now I can make it as long as I need. Um, I can do custom lengths. I might make it a little bit longer just so I have like slack if I ever need to move it. But you know, that wire isn't exactly cheap because I have to get I don't know, number four times five. I mean, technically I could probably get away with uh, four, like four conductors instead of five conductors. Cause it's just got, it's three hots, a neutral and a ground. And technically your neutral is a ground. So I could probably bond those together and have um, two just, four number fours instead of five number fours um, but we'll see it just depends i mean if the price isn't that much more i'd probably just go ahead and get the correct thing but you know we'll cross that bridge when we get there um but yeah i i plan on getting some new pdus that i'll show you they're 80 amp pdus um, and they only have 12 connectors on it so i gotta potentially look at buying some splitters to see because all my stuff so you use c13 slash c14 which is what you see on those pdus um, and right now, I don't really have any C19 cables. I have a few that I had to order from uh, for the other PDUs I have because it only had six C13s and it had two C19s. So I was using the C19s as basically the fourth C13. Um, I'm sorry if this doesn't make sense to you, but it makes sense in my head. So, um, but yeah, I don't want to talk too long. I just wanted to quickly update you guys on what's going on. Uh, if you guys want to see what the cost of adding the second transformer is going to be, um, just tell me down below and I'll make another video about it or like what I have to buy and all that kind of stuff and you know how much it's going to cost. So if you want to see that, leave a comment down below. But yeah, let's get the clutch signing off. Peace out.